Hello! I'll tell you, someone sneezed in front of me the other day, and I said Gesundheit, and they told me that Gesundheit is German for good health. And I thought to myself, I'm Jewish. I should probably stop saying German phrases. So from now on, whenever someone sneezes in front of me, I go, the Holocaust. <laughs> to be polite. I love Philadelphia. I went to college here. Uh, Philly is a tough town. While living in North Philly, I mugged three people. <laughs> I went to Temple University. Oh, oh yeah? Damn. Jesus, what year did you drop out? Uh, <laughs> I dropped out actually at 18, I went back at 24, and then I graduated at 29. You don't have to applaud, you're not my parents. Uh, but yeah, and while I was taking classes at Temple, I worked at UPenn, serving coffee to Ivy Leaguers. And I noticed something about Ivy Leaguers. You know what every Ivy Leaguer gets with their coffee? Spit. <laughs> Uh, I spit in your coffee. Uh, go Owls. <laughs> Absolutely. I, uh, but yeah, people would ask me all the time, Alex, what was it like being an older college kid? Did it make you feel old? And it's like, I don't know. Whenever a freshman came up to me and asked directions to their next class, I would give them a silver dollar like it was their grandparents. <laughs> Kids would lean into me in class. Alex, your age is clearly greater than 21. Would you buy me beer? I would tell them, no, I will not buy you beer. Let me teach you how to distill gin. <laughs> Remember, if you give a kid a beer, he's gonna be drunk for an hour. But if you teach a kid how to distill gin, he'll be dead by 8 a.m. <laughs> Philly's a tough town. I'm a rude drunk. You guys know the phrase an Irish goodbye? It's where you're at a party and you get really drunk and you leave without saying goodbye. And I don't do that. I do what it's called the Jewish goodbye, which is where I'll go to a party, I'll get really drunk, and then I'll say goodbye to every single person at the party, and then I stay. <laughs> Rudest thing you can do to anybody. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. In high school, I worked at a place called American Video Store. Uh, so American, it went out of business. Uh, listen, if you've never worked at a video store before, you never will. That is a lost trade. It's like being an alchemist or a smithy or something. And it's too bad. That was the best job in the world. There was only one rule at American Video. Do not laugh in anyone's face when they rent a porno. <laughs> Hardest rule in the world to follow. I laugh so hard I will never forget the name of the first porno I ever rented to somebody. It was Booty Duty 3. If I wrote that movie, the first scene would have been a police chief leaning on a desk yelling at a detective, Johnson, you're on Booty Duty. <laughs> now don't let what happened the last two times happen again. <laughs> There were so many good titles at American Video. Face Jam, they were great. Uh, you've seen it. My favorite title at American Video Store had to be Crack Attack, because Crack Attack is what happens when there's no one on booty duty. You want me to tell it again? Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, man, I've been laid off jobs before too, which is always a bummer, you know? And getting laid off sounds like it should be a good thing, right? Right? You know, getting laid is great. Getting off, also awesome. Getting laid off while you're at work should be fantastic. But it just means you can't come anymore. <laughs> Did you guys get me? Uh, let me ask you this, did anyone have a birthday within the past year? Uh, you? Over here, you guys are off the grid. 
I actually have the same birthday as my mom, different year, but it's true, I was born on my mom's birthday. And growing up, my mom would always tell me, oh, Alex, you were the best birthday present I ever got. Which is really sweet, so now I never get her anything. Uh, you ever get a gift from somebody and the way it's wrapped, it's obviously a book, and then you open it and it's a gun? Uh, <laughs> So I lost all my birthday presents in a duel. I'll tell you, I was in a park one time eating a sandwich. This old lady came up to me. She was like, you better put that sandwich away. Otherwise the squirrels are gonna come up and bother you. And I was like, are you a squirrel? Because you're bothering me. Guys, I'm Alex Ubar. Thank you very much. Good night. <laughs>